the emotions of stress hormones, the survival emotions, are saying pay attention to what happened because you want to be prepared if it happens again. Turns out most people spend 70% of their life living in survival and living in stress, so they're, they're always anticipating the worst case scenario based on a past experience, and they're literally, out of the infinite potentials in the quantum field, they're selecting the worst possible outcome and they're beginning to emotionally embrace it with fear and they're conditioning their body into a state of fear. Do that enough times, body has a panic attack without you. you. You can't even predict it because it's programmed subconsciously. So then you say to the person, why are you this way? And they'll say, I am this way because of this event that happened to me 15 or 20 years ago. And what that means from a biological standpoint is that they haven't been able to change since that event. So then the emotions from the experience tend to give the body and the brain a rush of energy. So people become addicted to the rush of those emotions and they use the problems and conditions in their life to reaffirm their limitation so at least they can feel something. So now when it comes time to change, you say to the person, why are you this way? Well, every time they recall the event, they're producing the same chemistry in their brain and body as if the event is occurring. Firing and wiring the same circuits and sending the same emotional signature to the body. Well, what's the relevance behind that? Well, your body is the unconscious mind. It doesn't know the difference between the experience that's creating the emotion and the emotion that you're creating by thought alone. So the body's believing. It's living in the same past experience 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. And so then when those emotions influence certain thoughts, and they do, and then those thoughts create the same emotions, and those same emotions influence the same thoughts, now the entire person's uh, state of being is in the past. Over the past six years, our research has delved into fascinating phenomena observed in our workshops. We've witnessed remarkable events like people stepping out of wheelchairs and experiencing extraordinary transformations. Stepping into the unknown, leaving behind the confines of the body and identity, happens instantly. We've conducted extensive research involving 8,500 brain scans and a team of scientists. We can discern when a person is on the verge of change, understand why some resist change, and identify the key factors facilitating transformation. So, what does it take to change? For many, their attention is consistently on their body, surroundings, and relationships. The brain constantly assesses safety in our environment. Our research reveals that shifting attention away from the body, transitioning from someone to no one, is pivotal. Many spend their lives constructing identities, but releasing attachments to possessions, locations, and time is transformative. Redirecting attention from the familiar to the unknown, from being to non-being, and from time to timelessness reveals consciousness. In this state, the rules governing matter-to-matter -matter interactions no longer apply. During a recent presentation to researchers in Santa Cruz, we demonstrated the predictability of transformative moments. The brain undergoes a remarkable shift, lighting up entirely, signaling a transcendental experience. It becomes a teachable formula, much like sports training. When you disassociate from your body, environment, and time, pure consciousness emerges. In this state, you become an idea, an awareness detached from local space and time. This moment allows you to transcend beyond anything previously identified. While changing the brain and personality takes time, this consciousness shift occurs instantly, liberating individuals from conventional rules. Consciousness is this incredible thing that goes beyond just physical matter. It's not the brain creating consciousness, but rather consciousness influencing and working through the brain. So, if the brain changes, it's not the mind changing it. It's consciousness guiding the change. When people detach from their usual concerns and go beyond their usual self, they reach their best state. But how do you get to that point? We teach a formula that brings individuals to a generous present moment where they feel connected. 
In this state, they find that what they thought they wanted becomes less important as they feel a sense of fulfillment. Living life from this perspective makes you less judgmental, frustrated, impatient, and reactive. The formula involves having a clear intention, creating a coherent brain. When stressed, our brain activates the fight-or-flight response, leading to scattered attention and incoherent thinking. In this stressed state, creativity, learning, and trust take a back seat. People spend a significant portion of their lives, around 70%, in this stressed state, which is pretty miserable. Stress narrows our focus on external factors, making us lose sight of possibilities. In survival mode, seeking possibilities or believing in them becomes challenging. To break free from this pattern, we encourage shifting from a narrow focus to opening up awareness. Opening your focus stops excessive thinking, slowing down brain waves. Connecting with the autonomic nervous system helps restore balance, bringing order to the chaos created by stress. It's essential to understand that when you analyze life within a disturbing emotion, you're essentially dwelling in the past. Our formula teaches people to open their focus, change brain waves, and connect with an invisible field. This connection triggers synchronization in different parts of the brain, leading to positive transformations. The front part of your brain talks to the back part, and the right side connects with the left side. When these brain regions sync up, you witness a person feeling more like their true selves. It's like a light turning on in the brain, signifying a surge of hope and a newfound love for life. This union of opposites creates wholeness, and when the brain is in harmony, incredible changes occur. Now, consider your heart. When you're resentful, judgmental, or impatient, your heart beats out of rhythm. It's like pressing the gas and brake simultaneously, a survival response that says danger is near. Even when sitting across from someone with a smile, your body may be on high alert. In this state, your heart beats irregularly, using up vital energy for survival rather than creative thinking. To break free from this pattern, we teach a way to regulate the heart center. Through 6,000 heart scans, we've learned that getting into a coherent heart state, activating the center, and regulating elevated emotions can be transformative. The heart, when beating rhythmically, produces a magnetic field up to three meters wide, making you more energy than matter. This measurable field carries information that can impact your well-being. The practice involves elevating your emotional state, broadcasting a new energetic signature. Thoughts become the language of the brain, while feelings communicate with the body. Consistently creating a positive state becomes familiar through meditation, meaning to become familiar with. This skill, like any other, improves with practice. As you sustain coherence, neurotransmitters like oxytocin are released, promoting feelings of love and well-being. Activating the heart triggers a cascade of chemicals that make you feel full and energized. This feeling becomes precious, making you less inclined to judge others, as it might jeopardize this positive state. Ultimately, it's about self-regulation, where you have the power to maintain a positive and harmonious state through intentional practices. Recently, at the research lab, we discovered that when the heart gets activated, it becomes like an amplifier for energy in the brain. Opening your heart signals the brain to quiet down survival centers. The research even shows that this heart activation can reset your baseline, helping with anxiety and depression. Anxiety often stems from living in survival mode. When the survival gene is active, your mind tends to choose the worst case scenario to prepare for the worst. This repetitive thinking conditions your body to live in a constant state of fear, leading to anxiety and panic attacks. Trying to control it with your conscious mind becomes challenging as these patterns are deeply rooted in the subconscious. In our work, 
we've seen incredible results from people who learn to self-regulate and create elevated emotional states. They sustain heart coherence for extended periods, even outside of meditation. Some report unexpected moments of intense love, describing it as a spontaneous love attack instead of a panic attack. This state, we believe, is the natural way of being. Living in elevated states helps you feel the emotion of your desired future before it happens, making you less anxious about waiting for it. You become empowered, knowing that you can recreate that feeling anytime. This understanding shifts the focus from competing and rushing to receive what you want to a more patient approach, trusting that it will come at the right time. The key is not trying to force it to happen faster, but consistently maintaining that elevated state. The manifestation of your desires often surprises you in unexpected ways, making it crucial to pay attention to the correlation between your inner state and external results. This awareness allows you to repeat the process and continue creating positive effects in your life. The joy you feel when something great happens can be used as energy to create more positive experiences. Some may say, I'm this way because of that person or thing. But if you realize that your thoughts and feelings are within your control, you shift from being a victim of your environment to being a creator of your life. Thoughts and emotions are powerful forces. Thoughts create an electrical charge, and feelings create a magnetic charge. Combined, they create an electromagnetic signature that influences everything in your life. Your intent or thought sends out a signal, while the feeling draws the event back. If you want something, like wealth or health, you need to balance your thoughts and feelings, creating coherence between them. Most people spend their lives in a space-time reality, moving through space and time to achieve their goals. But when you create from the energetic field rather than from physical matter, you become a match for your desires, collapsing time and space. You become a vortex to your destiny, and the experience is drawn to you without having to physically go after it. Teaching people to trust and surrender to outcomes rather than forcing and controlling them is essential. Trying to predict when or how something will happen overlays the known onto the unknown. It involves laying down the familiar and being open to something greater occurring. This process is universal and can be embraced by anyone, regardless of their background, age, or circumstances. Elders in this work of various backgrounds and experiences have shown remarkable brain scans that defy age stereotypes. You can't convince me that you're too sick, out of shape, or have had a tough past to embark on this transformative journey. We've witnessed people facing severe challenges, reverse stage four cancer with tremendous effort and self-love. Your shape, size, age, or past don't matter. We've seen success stories in all forms. Surprisingly, those who have never meditated before often have the most profound experiences. Following simple instructions without the baggage of prior habits can lead to incredible results. We aim to include everyone in this process, making our events diverse and inclusive. Our community spans across ages, cultures, and backgrounds. We're researching the impact of a thousand people synchronizing their energy during events, this synchronized energy creates a coherent magnetic field that extends beyond individuals, producing a powerful wave. This communal energy has shown significant potential in healing practices, with documented cases of tumors disappearing and various health improvements. When it comes to consciousness, it's about awareness, paying attention, and noticing. Most of our behavior is driven by unconscious programs we've developed over the years. To change, you first need to become conscious of these automatic thoughts. Take a moment to sit quietly and observe your thoughts without judgment. This simple practice helps you detach from program thinking and become the conscious observer. Discovering who you are beyond the constant stream of thoughts is the key to real awareness. It's about observing your thoughts, 
actions and behavior so consciously that you don't let them run you. You might realize that a feeling you've lived with for years is actually guilt, and becoming aware of it is like objectifying your subjective self. Becoming conscious is uncomfortable because it involves facing your inner self, but it's essential for personal freedom. Meditation, in its true sense, means becoming familiar with your unconscious self, staying conscious, and resisting distractions like cell phones or TV. Staying conscious and present is an art. It requires taking your attention off the material world and going from somebody to nobody, from something to nothing, from somewhere to nowhere, and from some time to no time. This shift in attention allows you to enter the quantum field, a door to a reality beyond the material world. It's like a dance in the beginning, especially for those who have invested heavily in their body or pain. But with practice, you can get better at taking your attention off the physical and entering a state of pure awareness. Even a few seconds of achieving a state of nobody, no one, no thing, nowhere, and no time can have a profound impact. We often get stuck in the story of our past, believing it defines who we are and who we'll be in the future. To break free from this pattern, especially in times of stress and anxiety, we need to brainwash ourselves with positive, peaceful, and loving thoughts. This rewiring of our mental patterns can lead to a more successful and fulfilling future. Transforming our inner narrative or positively rewiring ourselves begins with recognizing that much of who we are functions on autopilot. The first step involves shedding light on this subconscious realm, becoming mindful of our thoughts, actions, and emotions. It's crucial to be aware of how we express ourselves and act in various situations. Helping individuals become familiar with their thoughts, emotions, and habits is a potent approach. Through guided focus and awareness exercises, we empower them to shape a more organized and cohesive brain. This familiarity weakens the grip of old, limiting thoughts, fostering a stronger willpower to surpass existing mental patterns. Consistency plays a pivotal role. By persisting in the practice of staying still without giving in, individuals cultivate a robust will that can overcome the constraints of past thought patterns. This daily routine aids in breaking free from the confines of the past, gradually fostering an improved emotional state and establishing a deeper connection with their future selves. Remaining attuned to the emotions tied to one's future throughout the day negates the constant need to search for when that future will unfold. The objective is to sustain a continual sense of enchantment and fluidity, solidifying the evolving personality. As people undergo this positive transformation, they eagerly anticipate each day, transcending their former selves and seeking inner completeness. For those grappling with negative thoughts, isolation, or self-harm, instigating change may appear overwhelming. In such situations, commencing with basic knowledge, gaining diverse experiences, and embracing wisdom and philosophy serve as initial steps. Gradually adopting a positive philosophy, even through small strides, becomes a path to bring solace and tranquility to their hearts. Engaging in the journey of knowledge involves more than just intellectual understanding. It encompasses the mind, body, soul, and various ways of learning and applying. Initially, when you absorb information and truly delve into it, your brain undergoes changes, altering the way you perceive the world. The next step is to figure out how to use, personalize, and apply this knowledge in your life. This requires aligning your behaviors with your intentions, paving the way for trial and error. The process of trial and error is essential. You may not succeed on the first attempt, but persistence is key. Just as you learn to walk by getting up after every fall, repeating actions conditions your mind and body to work as one. As you consistently practice, 
New experiences enrich your brain circuits, creating a chemical change that fosters a sense of limitlessness and completeness. Repetition plays a crucial role in neurochemical conditioning. Doing something repeatedly conditions your mind and body to act subconsciously, leading to a seamless integration of the learned knowledge. This results in a state where you no longer have to try. It becomes an intrinsic part of who you are. By staying connected to the emotions tied to your future throughout the day, you eliminate the constant need to seek when that future will unfold. This continuous feeling of enchantment and flow solidifies the evolving personality. As you undergo this positive transformation, negative thoughts become like rejected viruses. They bounce off you because your powerful field pushes them away. For individuals deeply struggling with negative thoughts, isolation, or self-harm, initiating change may seem daunting. In such cases, starting with basic knowledge, gaining diverse experiences, and embracing wisdom and philosophy can be the initial steps. Gradually adopting a positive philosophy, even through small strides, becomes a path to bring solace and tranquility to their hearts. The stories of others who have successfully embraced change serve as powerful testimonies, reinforcing the truth that change is possible and within reach. We had this remarkable case in Dubai with a guy who was confined to a wheelchair due to a tumor in his spine. The doctors had given up, sent him home, and it was a dire situation. Just a week before the point of no return, he stumbled upon my book, Becoming Supernatural. He read it, somehow secured a spot in our program, and mind you, he was in a wheelchair due to stage four cancer. The medical verdict was harsh. Go home and prepare for the worst. Severe paralysis, spinal cord issues, pain that even the strongest medications couldn't touch. Fast forward one week into our program, and his tumor shrunk by a whopping 30%. Recently, I met him in Munich, and guess what? He's walking, sans wheelchair, embracing an entirely new reality. He's a living testament to the power of belief. Believing in yourself is the key. When you truly believe, you open the door to endless possibilities. It's a journey, and you can't separate belief from possibility. If you're plagued by doubts, immerse yourself in knowledge. Learn, study, and keep absorbing new philosophies and skills. If reading isn't your thing, head to YouTube, where countless testimonies showcase real people who've transformed their lives. In this transformative journey, patience is crucial. Some folks dive into the process expecting instant change, but real change requires commitment. It's about reaching that point where you decide, this is it, I'm changing. That decision holds more energy than any hardwired program in your brain or emotional conditioning in your body. Some people take the leap when traditional treatments fail. Chemotherapy, injections, radiation, nothing works. They have nothing left but themselves. In this vulnerable state, they go all in. No half measures, no doubts. They believe in themselves because there's nothing else left. Their progress isn't just about the work, it's about their unwavering belief in themselves. It's not about the technique, it's about believing in the limitless potential within you. When you make strides in personal growth, it's a testament to the incredible capacity of the human mind. Maybe, just maybe, we're not as limited as we've been led to believe. It's about throwing in with the idea that we might be more unlimited than our programming suggests. Your immune system is no exception. Activate it by sending the right signals. Turn on your thymus, enhance blood flow, release the chemicals that suppress survival centers. Believe that your immune system can handle any virus, given the right signals and a state of wholeness. Stay in that positive state, memorize it, and watch your immune system become a formidable defender. Thank you for watching until the end. And if you're hungry for more inspiration in your life, check out the next videos on the left and right side of the screen.
Life stories often revolve around those who went from nothing to something. If you enjoyed the insights and the powerful stories we've shared, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. By subscribing, you become a part of our amazing community, ready to explore the boundless potential within.